guys, it's Cobra DVS, and this is my review of Mega Man 8 on the Sega Saturn. Mega Man is an interesting series for me. The first Mega Man game I ever played was Mega Man 2, and that was only a couple of years ago. I never had them as a kid, and in fact, I don't even think I knew what Mega Man was. Apparently, though, I was missing out, because now Mega Man has a massive following, and I was never a part of it. And maybe I shouldn't have been a part of it. I mean, Mega Man games are good. That's just a fact. But I really can't get into them. They seem just they, they, they just seem to be so unappealing when I play because the difficulty is ridiculous. I could never bring myself to finish a Mega Man game or hell, even a Mega Man level, because the game is just so hard it became a drag to play. It seems like every Mega Man game on the NES is like that. Now, like I said, they're no doubt good games, it's just I can't get into them. I played Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo, and I think I like it more than the NES Mega Man's but it's not one of my favorites. I also have Mega Man 7, which is probably the one I've played the most, and I actually kind of enjoy it. They still, though, never connected with me, and I'd soon find myself playing Castlevania, Sonic, Mario, much earlier than I'd be playing Mega Man. So, now that I've said that, let me just say this. From everything I've heard about Mega Man 8, it's sort of the black sheep of the series. Most consider it the weakest, and I figure it's probably more of the same, but since I recently got it for the Saturn, I decided I'd sit down and play it. Now, I don't know how people are going to feel about this, but it might be my favorite Mega Man game. Now, before anybody gets pissy, though, let me just explain. First off, the controls are superb. Even, the, even though I think the game would benefit from being able to shoot in all directions, it still works fine the way it is. A and C are your shoot buttons, B is jump, down B allows you to slide, and holding A or C allows you to charge up your Mega Buster for a more powerful shot. L and R also allow you to switch between the different power-ups you can pick up o over the course of the game. So, just to reiterate, the controls are excellent, and they actually work better on a Saturn controller than I thought they would. Now, the graphics are where a lot of people seem to complain. I really like them. I mean, they're, they're not the best-looking graphics you'll ever see, and they're a little more cartoonish than others, but, you know, I think they're still pretty good. The game also features fully animated cutscenes. Now, the voice acting in these cutscenes is wretched. I think most know that, but it's at least a bold attempt by Capcom to do something different. And, apparently, this is the first time Mega Man has ever spoken, and people were disappointed. He sounds kind of like a prepubescent girl, but if we're all honest... Mega Man looks more like Mega Boy, so if he had a deep manly voice, it wouldn't really make much sense. He could have maybe a voice like Link, where it's sort of in between the two or something, I suppose, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I suppose if I were a big Mega Man fan, I probably would have been disappointed too, but who cares? It doesn't distract from the gameplay at all, so don't worry about it. So, what about the gameplay? Well, like I said, it can... So, what about the gameplay? Well, like I said, it controls well, and generally the game is fun. It's still tough, but it feels easier. I don't know if it's because the controls are better, or if the game is actually easier, but either way, I like it. It keeps me wanting to play and not toss my Saturn into orbit. One of the biggest problems I faced in other Mega Man games were the bosses. I understand they're supposed to be tough, and fighting them in a particular order does make it easier, but I never knew the order, so I just would pick randomly. Now, in Mega Man 8, it's different. I feel like I have a fighting chance against the bosses. They're still a challenge, but a tolerable challenge. Most of the bosses I, uh, are what I expect to be challenging, but beatable. And once you find their pattern, it becomes much easier. So, besides the obvious, there's a couple cool things about Mega Man 8 that I want to mention. First off, there is a save feature, which is a big relief, because I hate passwords. After you complete a level, you can save your progress with no problem at all. Something else I liked is that there's a mini-boss in the middle of each level. After you beat the mini-boss, you get a checkpoint, and when you die, you get to restart here. And even if you get a game over, you get to start at the checkpoint. The game also has an upgrade feature. Aside from gaining power, gaining power-ups from each boss you beat, you can also collect bolts throughout the level. When you have enough bolts, you can go to Auto's Part Shop and buy certain things. You exchange bolts for these upgrades, and the prices in... I say prices... The amount of bolts that they charge seem to be fair, but bolts are pretty scarce, so you have to make smart decisions when you buy something. I mentioned earlier the voice acting and how bad it was, but I didn't mention that when you select a stage and the familiar music starts to play, the robot will introduce himself. 
I'm Grenade Man or I'm Clown Man. It's typically what they'll say. Also, I never mentioned the music. It's good, too. It reminds me of the Super Nintendo Mega Man games. So all I have to say is, you know, what the hell? Why does this game get such a bad rap? I really enjoyed it. Now, I'm not the biggest Mega Man player, but this was just fun. That's the key word here. Fun. It's something I really didn't find too much of in previous installments. This also makes me want to go back and play the previous ones and see if I could give them another chance. But all I can say for is Mega Man 8 is just take the game for what it is. A fun action platformer. Nothing more, nothing less. I definitely feel that it deserves a lot more respect than it gets. So in my opinion, you should definitely give Mega Man 8 a shot. I'll give Mega Man 8 a 9 out of 10. Great game.